spin around, go in, and so we're at a flat perspective here. We'll get the buildings to pop in in a second, I think. And then, we go to downtown San Francisco, we get the buildings pop in, and then a two finger gesture to flip the perspective. I can spin around here, and you'll see how the obliques of the buildings change as we spin. So that's because all of the information in Maps now is vector information that's downloaded to the phone and rendered in real time. The other advantage of this is also comes in Maps in general, but also in navigation. So if you're doing Maps or navigation and you go off the path, you have the surrounding area because the vector information is very small relative to before we were downloading actual images. Right. So we can download whole huge chunks of the map. And if you're some, you know, you start off on a trip, you're in the middle of nowhere, uh, and you don't have a network connection, the data is still there. So is it completely offline or just parts of it are offline? Well, so it tries to do intelligent caching based on the areas that you look at. So it will cache some of this, you know, it will cache some of this offline. So I haven't tried this, so let's see if it works. Uh, but we can go ahead and we'll um, we'll turn Wi-Fi off, um, and hopefully later on it will come back. So we should have we should have no network connection now. So we go to yeah. and well, actually, I'll use the switcher there. That. You can see as we go down to zoom levels, we've still got this, the street data filling in here. And I think if we go again to like downtown San Francisco, where we've got, see if we get, we've still got the building data here. And then, so we didn't go there before, but we can go to the northern part of the city and zoom in. And you see, we've only got, we've got partial information. So this is kind of. Completely. Right. So it's tried to do intelligent caching here. We never looked at, you know, we never looked at Van Ness and, uh, you know, Van Ness and Chestnut up here. But we have nice detailed information about this area. Got it. So, but it thought, okay, this is, you know, the Presidio is far enough away. Got it. They're not interested in that. Makes sense. But it'll continue to learn your behavior and cache the areas that you're interested in. Right. But do you at all support offline, uh, I mean, let's say you have a memory card. Can it download map data? onto the card and 